Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Steve. So the same thing happened to Chris Paul a few years ago. What's happening to LeVar Ball right now? People calling him sexist and bigot and all this other bull crap. It's nonsense. LeVar Ball did absolutely nothing wrong. He did nothing wrong, okay? All he said in the interview. Now, if you don't know what's going on, ESPN, they're just trying to find ways to destroy the ball brand, the big baller brand, okay? They're just trying to find ways to destroy it when he said nothing wrong. So he was interviewed talking about the lady referee that kept calling texts and things like that on him. And this is what he said pretty much. He said, I understand she's a woman. I don't care if she's a man or a female. You shouldn't be calling BS texts and you need to be qualified. If you can't keep up with the high school pace, don't be a referee. Now you have all of these talk show hosts on ESPN and ABC Sports and MSNBC, MSNBC Sports and Undisputed and all, all this other nonsense saying he's 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 sexist and all. It's all about their stupid left uh, propaganda agenda. Okay, he did. He said nothing, absolutely nothing that was sexist. Okay, he said absolutely nothing. And I'm really really sick and tired of hearing these retarded stories on the news of people accusing people of being sexist when they say absolutely nothing. The same exact thing happened a few years ago with Chris Paul. Chris Paul and the Los Angeles Clippers. Do you remember what happened? She also did um, um, She also did bad calls against the Phoenix Suns, against the New York Knicks. I don't remember the name of the, uh, um, the head coach. I don't remember. I mean the referee. I don't remember the name. I think her name is Lauren Hotkemp or something like that. Lauren Hotkemp, whatever. Lauren, the referee. She was terrible. Okay, she called a technical foul at DeAndre Jordan. Jordan, he he tried to lay up the basket. He tried to commit for a layup. The ball was bouncing, and he was like, "God damn it, get in there!" And she called a technical foul for that. Chris Paul was about to go on the fast break, and this is the Clippers with Chris Paul back in the 2014-15 season. They were one of the fastest-paced teams in the league at the time. So he was trying to go on a fast break against the Cleveland Cavaliers, and you know what she did? She said, "Uh uh-uh, and he said, why uh uh-uh? You know, and she gave him a technical foul. I'm so sick of this nonsense of, oh, well, she's a girl. You should, no, screw that. If you want to have, you want to be equal and you want to be refereeing in the NBA, then you better be prepared to listen to men screaming, to the physicality, the speed. You have to be in shape. You have to be qualified. I'm tired of people getting hired just because they're a woman or just because of this or just because of that. Look, you have to be qualified qualified for the job okay so i'm really sick and tired of this because lavar ball did absolutely nothing wrong he did nothing wrong they're attacking him the same way they attacked chris paul a few years ago in the los angeles clippers they didn't really attack chris paul as much as they're attacking lavar ball because it wasn't just chris paul that was you know on the defense it was the entire los angeles clippers team okay and at that time their whole um uh owned it uh the dude that owned the team was racist and things like that. So they didn't really catch the flack as much as LeVar Ball is getting the flack. But you have to be kidding me. He absolutely said nothing racist in that interview. He literally said, I don't care if you're a woman or a man. If you're not qualified, if you can't even keep up with the high school pace of things, then you shouldn't be refereeing. And then he said, stay in your lane. And he was obviously making a joke at that lady from the um, Colin Coward show, show that he had a fight with a few months ago. And now everyone hates, I think her name's Christine Lee or something ridiculous like that, okay? And let's be real, she's a brat. She played the victim card. Big surprise, right? Big surprise. It always happens. It always happens. And I'm so freaking sick of this nonsense. And I guarantee you, I'm going to be the only YouTuber speaking out against this because people are too afraid of being politically correct. Screw being politically correct. He said nothing wrong. And I agree 100% with him. If you're not qualified for the job, I'm going to call you out. If you have bad calls, I'm going to call you out. I called out my own management from the Knicks. I called out my own players, my favorite team i called out the team that i support okay heck when i'm in my house and someone in my family does something that i don't agree with you know what i do i call them out on it people are so politically correct this they're trying to destroy his brand now you know all and it's espn you know if you guys don't understand this whole 
political sphere you don't have to get too much into it that's why i'm not going as much as i really know into this because i'm really into politics but it's espn is a left-wing organization and this is just them trying to promote this whole agenda of sexism in america and this is the perfect example of a successful black man now they're saying oh he's sexist and he didn't say anything Anyway, man, it's been you, man, Steve. I'm out of here, man. I'm so sick of these stupid freaking stories. Honestly. I mean, what? someone tell me, what did he say that is remotely close to being sexist? 